What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darian and of course here on the YouTube platform, I am affectionately known as the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On my channel I talk about fragrances and fashion, so how you can look your best and smell amazing each and every day so that content may seem to be of interest to you, I invite you to go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you don't mind, take another few seconds to go ahead and click the bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I release a new video. So have any of you guys ever wondered what maybe some of your favorite celebrities may smell like or what they may wear? There's a lot of speculation that used to go around about different fragrances being linked to different celebrities. For instance, a lot of folks said Frank Sinatra wore Bois de Portugal from Creed. It's also been said that uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs, one of his favorite fragrances was Millicent Imperial from the House of Creed as well. Hence, that's where his fragrance, Sean John's Unforgivable, came from because he loved Millicent Imperial so much and so he kind of took the uh, Millicent Imperial DNA and of course uh, came out with Sean John's Unforgivable, which does smell a lot like the uh, Millicent Imperial. But there, again, there's been a lot of different fragrances that have been linked to a lot of different celebrities. So I thought it would be fun to compile a list today of what some of your favorite celebrities are actually wearing. Now, where we used to have to speculate, GQ has made it possible for us to kind of get a sneak peek inside of the actual fragrances that a lot of your favorite celebrities are actually wearing. GQ actually started a series on YouTube called the 10 things that I can't live without. So in these episodes, celebrities of different from different arenas uh, talk about the 10 things in their lives that on a day to day basis they cannot live without. Quite naturally, it's very interesting for me as a fragrance kind of sore to watch these videos and see what some of these celebrities say and some of the fragrances that they have included on their list as an item that they cannot live without. So now we don't really have to speculate about what some of these celebrities are actually wearing. We're actually getting confirmation of what they are wearing. So on today's video, I'm gonna feature 10 professional athletes and the fragrances that they are actually wearing. So I think this is gonna be fun. If you believe so, stick around. Because when we come back, I'm going to jump into these 10 fragrances that some of your professional, that some of your favorite professional athletes are wearing. So you already know the routine. You know how we do. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list. First up on the list today, this guy came into the NFL a few years ago and started to dominate the position of wide receiver. I'm talking about none other than OBJ, AKA Odell Beckham Jr. He gave 10 things that he cannot live without. And on that list, he included a fragrance that I actually just mentioned from the house of Sean John, and that is Unforgivable. Unforgivable. I just told you guys again, this fragrance does remind me a lot of Millicent Imperial by Creed, but of course you're gonna get this at a fraction of the cost. So Odell Beckham Jr. listed this as a fragrance that he cannot live without. I think it was a case that just like myself, uh, when I was in my high school, college years, uh, buying fragrances that cost a lot of money like Creed wasn't really in the cards for me. So. I used to love this fragrance from Sean John. I still like it, of course, that's why I have a bottle of it in my collection today. But that goes to show you guys that even celebrities sometimes don't spend a lot of money on fragrances. It's just about what you like and what smells good. So this is the fragrance that Odell Beckham Jr. wears. So if you want to smell like Odell Beckham, if he's one of your favorite uh, athletes, then get you a bottle of Unforgivable by Sean John. All right, guys, now the next celebrity a professional athlete that I want to highlight is none other than JaVale McGee. Uh, this is a center in the NBA. Most recently, he played with the Los Angeles Lakers and helped them to win uh, the NBA championship last year. And 
The fragrance that he highlighted was this one right here from the House of Bond number nine, and this is Scent of Peace for him. The fragrance with the bow tie. Now, of course, you guys know I've talked about this fragrance. I actually love this fragrance as well. It is my most complimented Bond number no. nine fragrance, so I can definitely see why uh, JaVel McGee would take a liking to this fragrance. It's mass appealing. Again, it gets a lot of compliments. It doesn't smell like a vintage to me, just maybe just very slightly. But for the most part, like I said, this fragrance does its own thing, and I love what it does. So this is the fragrance that NBA champion JaVel McGee uh, says is one of his fra favorite fragrances that he likes to rock. So if you want to smell like JaVel McGee or wear the same fragrance that he wears, pick you up a bottle of Scent of Peace by Bond Number 9. All right, guys, now next up on the list, we're going to talk about Jalen Ramsey. Now, this guy plays cornerback now for the Los Angeles Rams, and he has been shutting down receivers. And after the game and after the press conferences, he throws on this fragrance right here from Gucci, which is Gucci Guilty. Uh, in the video, he says that, hey, you know what? Women are always asking me what it is that I'm wearing and saying they like the way I smell. So I guess this is a good fragrance. Now, this is a fragrance that I haven't had in my collection for a long time. It doesn't get as much wear uh, today uh, that it used to when I first got it, but it doesn't change the fact that it's still a solid fragrance. Again, not one of my personal uh, favorites that I reach for often now, but it's just a kind of easy to wear, mass appealing DNA from Gucci. And again, this is a fragrance choice of Jalen Ramsey. So if it's good enough for Jalen Ramsey, it may be good enough for some of you as well. His choice of fragrance from the house of Gucci is Gucci Guilty. All right, guys, next up on the list. Now, this gentleman also in the NFL has some of the best hands in the game today. And I'm talking about none other than DeAndre Hopkins. His fragrance of choice was this one right here. One of my favorites as well from the House of Replica. This is Jazz Club. This is Jazz Club. When DeAndre Hopkins was interviewed, he said this is the best smelling scent in the world. I don't know if I would go that far, but I definitely, again, agree with him that this is an amazing fragrance. It's sexy. It has that kind of coconut, slightly boozy uh, vibe with some tobacco in it. So again, a very, very, very uh, nice fragrance. One of my favorites from the uh, Mason Margiela replica line as well. So I definitely could see why DeAndre Hopkins with the best hands in the NFL would choose this as his go-to fragrance. This fragrance definitely would score a touchdown for me as well. So. From the House of Replica, DeAndre Hopkins' go-to fragrance is this one right here, Jazz Club. All right, guys, next up on the list, we are staying in the NFL. This guy is a big guy. He plays offensive line, I think, now for the Miami Dolphins. We're talking about Laramie Tunzel. Laramie Tunzel. And he actually featured two fragrances in his video. These two right here, this is Blue de Chanel, of course, from Chanel, and Aqua Digio Pro Fumo. Two very mass appealing fragrances. Again, I think a lot of these guys, they just go into the store and they just pick up what smells great to them. Sometimes they don't even know and care about names and housing and stuff like that. They just go with what smells great. And these are two very mass appealing fragrances. Two of the best designer fragrances ever created in my humble opinion. So I can definitely see why Mr. Laramie Tunzel would choose these as his go-to fragrances. Blue de Chanel from the House of Chanel and Aqua Digio Profumo from Giorgio Armani. All right, guys, next we are going to the NBA, back to the NBA. And this gentleman, uh, he's been injured a lot over the past two seasons, but dynamic player, uh, to say the least, we're talking about from the Indiana Pacers, Victor Olandipo. And Mr. Olandipo's fragrance of choice is this one right here, Creed Aventus. And when they interviewed Victor Olandipo, he said that he can't leave home without this stuff. This is the only fragrance pretty much that he wears. And I definitely, of course, can see why it's a very popular fragrance. It's a very mass appealing, uh, very well-known uh, fragrance. And of course, I can see a lot of professional athletes gravitating to Aventus for obvious reasons. So it goes without saying, I definitely understand why Mr. Olandipo chose this as his choice of fragrance from the House of Creed. This is the King Aventus. All right, guys, in the next fragrance on the list, we are going to the House of Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, this gentleman, uh, plays the wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns. He was able to team up with the aforementioned Odell Beckham Jr. I think these guys are like best friends from college at LSU. We're talking about Jarvis Landry. 
dynamic wide receiver from the Cleveland Browns, and his choice of fragrance is this right here, YSL Y, the EDT. And of course, you guys know I already know why he would choose this as one of his go-to fragrances. He says he likes to wear this when he kind of goes out. This is like his day-to-day kind of casual scent. I understand why. Extremely mass appealing. A lot of compliments come from this fragrance right here. It smells great. And again, I definitely can see why this would be the fragrance of choice, especially for a more casual outing. So the fragrance that Mr. Landry has chosen is this one right here from YSL. This is Y and this is the EDT. All right, guys, next up, the next people actually are, that I want to feature on this list are two brothers. These are the Griffin twins and they actually play for the Seattle Seahawks. I thought that was amazing. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the story, one of the brothers actually has uh, had an injury when he was younger, so he actually played with one hand. So I think that's absolutely fantastic. And the fact that they were able to get drafted to the same team is amazing. Uh, they, they had a chance to talk about uh, their 10 items and they chose fragrances. They actually have four fragrances they're sitting uh, on display. And they actually talked about these two fragrances. I've already mentioned them, but we'll go back to them. And they talked about this one right here, which is Dior Sauvage from Christian Dior. And they also talked about Boudet Chanel. Uh, again, it was an amazing, uh, it's an amazing story. Uh, again, I love hearing stories like that uh, with these two guys, but they obviously love fragrances. So I can definitely get with them on their love for fragrances. And again, they have four uh, fragrances there on the table when they did their 10 things. And these were the two fragrances that they mentioned, Dior Sauvage. And also, of course, this one right here, Boudet Chanel from the House of Chanel. All right, guys, and the next fragrance on the list, we're going back to the NFL. We're talking about none other than Tyron Matthew. They call him the Honey Badger. Uh, who also played his uh, college football at uh, LSU as well. And he said that his favorite fragrance was this one right here, Green Irish Tweed. Uh, Green Irish Tweed, and he says he loved the fact that it feels like a sophisticated fragrance. Tyron Matthew, I agree with you on that. Very classic fragrance DNA, but it smells great. It doesn't smell dated. I think this fragrance came out in the year of 1985 and it's still going strong today. So I can definitely see why a professional athlete, someone that has uh, money and pretty much probably any fragrance of their choice at their fingertips if they wanted to have it, would choose this classic fragrance as their fragrance of choice. I love it as well. Uh, couldn't agree more. This is a great fragrance choice from the House of Creed, Green Irish Tweet. All right, guys, and next up, we're going back to the NBA. Uh, one of my favorite players right now in the NBA, actually, this guy, now plays for the New Jersey Nets, or the Brooklyn Nets, I am sorry. And we're talking about none other than Kyrie Irving. This guy's play on the basketball court is absolutely dynamic. Some of the best handles I've ever seen and one of the best finishers at the basket I've ever seen in the NBA. But his fragrance of choice is this one right here, and it's Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage. For obvious reasons, guys, this is one of the most popular fragrances on the market what creed aventus is to the niche market i think dior survives is to the designer market just very popular fragrance highly complimented don't run into many people that don't like this fragrance dna so i could definitely see why uh, somebody of Kyrie's caliber would choose this as their fragrance of choice it goes without saying from the house of dior this is dior survives all right guys and the last fragrance that i want to feature on this list I saved the best for last, and that's because this gentleman played for my favorite NFL team, the Dallas Cowboys. I am talking about none other than Amari Cooper. And when he was going through his list of 10 things that he cannot live without, he mentioned one of my favorite fragrances, so shout out to Amari Cooper. And it's this one right here from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, Omari did have the extract version on his list, but, you know, again, it's just a really a heavier concentration of the uh, ED, the EDP that I have here in my hand, but same fragrance pretty much, but again, a fragrance that you guys know that I absolutely adore. I was happy to hear that Amari Cooper was actually wearing this fragrance because it is a beautiful scent. Again, one of the top 10 fragrances probably in my entire collection. So definitely understand Amari why you chose this one. It's an amazing scent, very popular. A lot of people love this scent. From the House of Amazing Francis Kirk John, this is Baccarat Rouge 540. 
All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video and had a little bit of fun with me as I talked about 10 fragrances that are worn by celebrities, specifically on this list, some of your favorite athletes. I always appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, I do understand. You could have been doing anything else in the world, and uh, but I sincerely appreciate you guys taking a few moments to watch these videos from the bottom of my heart. I will tell you, thank you. Now, I hope that you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because I'm your guy, Darian, the bow tie fragrance guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.